Hello, this is KG Outdoors 16, and today we're going to be doing a little different video than the normal fishing or hunting video. Today we're going to do a Q&A because a lot of people have questions, and I never get to answer them because I'm so busy, and especially in the recent days since goose season just ended and I got completely skunked, which has never happened before. But I know I'll hit them hard on youth season. I have it all planned out for youth season. So, without further ado, I'm going to get to your guys' questions. The first question is, what is your least favorite animal? Snakes. I absolutely hate snakes. Ugh. I mean, this disgusting. I just hate snakes. I don't even want to talk about them. They're just nasty. But if you see me and a snake, snake will go that way, I'll go that way. Even if there's a 10-pound bass over there. Okay, if there's a 10-pound bass in front of the snake, screw the snake. But, any other day, bye-bye, snake. So one of the questions I got is, how to set up decoys with wind conditions in the weather? So, number one, when you're setting up decoys, always make sure you have the right amount of decoys and mount, and match the amount of birds that are out there. So if there's about 10 or 20 ducks you're scouting out, and you're like, I'm going to go hunt the small beaver dam that only holds about 5 or 10 ducks, you do not put 500 decoys out. It's not like the hunting shows that they, they just keep on shooting and shooting and shooting. In real life, you're only going to get about one or two of those days where you just keep on shooting and shooting. It's going to be trickle, trickle, a couple birds here and there. You want to set up five to ten decoys and probably one motion decoy or a jerk cord. So if the wind's blowing this way, always make sure you setting right here. Because the wind blows this way, birds land towards you. Always make sure you have the wind to your face. And a good rule of thumb is make sure you have the sun to your back because, like right now, when the birds are coming in, they if they're coming in towards me, the sun behind me will blind them. If the sun is in your face, it will illuminate your face. It doesn't mean you can't set in front of the face. It doesn't mean you can set in front of the sun. It means when you set in front of the sun, wear a face mask like I did yesterday. And, num and number two. Always, always, always match the birds that are out there. If you're hunting for geese and you put duck decoys out, that just doesn't make sense. If you're hunting for redheads and you put in your and you hunt in a small creek for redheads, it doesn't make sense. You have to hunt big lakes for redhead ducks. So always match the conditions, always match the weather, and make sure you get the right decoys out. And it's always not about numbers. It's about how realistic and how camoed up you are. Someone asked, what is the most weirdest thing I shot? That's a good question. I'm going to say the most weirdest thing I shot has to be a fox. I wasn't... Now, I, I know I kind of repeat the fox thing over and over. Ooh, golf ball. <laughs> I don't even hit golf balls in my woods. Four... But anyway, a fox because I went coyote hunting once and I wasn't expecting to get a fox, but I got a fox. And the weirdest thing I caught, probably a black nosed dace. It's a very, very, very weird fish. I went micro fishing. I didn't even get a picture of it. I caught one of them. I put it in my micro fishing tank and my rock bass ate it. So I learned my lesson. Next time you catch a black nosed dace, put it in a smaller tank. I hope you have enjoyed my video. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends about my channel. Tomorrow should be an even better video. Should be a little bit longer. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I might dove hunt, go fishing. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Maybe I'll just do a scouting video. I need to go deer scouting bad. Well, please like, subscribe, tell your friends about my channel. See you next video.